What is up, everybody? And today I am doing my first Blu-ray, not Blu-ray review, my movie review, my first ever movie review on The Amazing Spider-Man. I just watched it. Um, this movie's been out for 11 years. It's part, it's one of my favorite Spider-Man movies. It's one of the ones that has the most. We, it's weird. This one has hate, then doesn't, then does. I don't really know how the fans really think about the first Amazing Spider-Man movie. How I think about it is that. I think it's underrated. I think this is the best Uncle Ben. Um, um is eh, in this one. The the second one she's better, but the main Spider-Man two is as a movie is all over the place, so it's kinda hard to break characters. But Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker and as Spider Man. Peter Parker I do like. I know people hate it. it. Doesn't matter. I don't really relate to Peter Parker I'm, of his nerdiest, so it doesn't bother me. And then I love his Spider Man, how he fights, his comedy and um how he swings the swing of the new york scene i'll play the clip little bit of it how it is that's probably the best part of really the movie and how i like spider-man as that's why i like Andrew Garfield spider-man he knows how to do the they know how to do the swinging parts that's what toby Guire does lack but he still does great moments it's just he's kind of just swinging straight where Andrew Garfield's like flipping and going crazy love it um so my my positives of this movie is pretty much almost everything i can think of so my positive is i like how the lizard looks I like Andrew Garfield's suit. It's probably one of my favorite suits ever in the whole entire franchise. I know people hate it. My opinion. Um, I think it, it, it just makes... You want to make a suit for the movie, not for... Oh, what if it was like that in Mage Spider-Man 2 or No Way Home? This is a Mage Spider-Man. We aren't in those movies. So, love the suit. I like in the very beginning when Uncle Ben does die. He tried to go into the other suits. I, his version of the, like, the homemade suit is one of my favorites. I think it looks goofy. One of my favorites, and then um, Toby is probably my second favorite of that suit as well. Tom Holland's trash. Trash suits. He has so much bad suits. His main suit is bad. That's how bad Homecoming is to me. But, so yeah. And then the positives, I would say, is the dad family plotline is um, trying to do the different line. I know that's another nitpick people say. I love it, actually, in this movie. Uh, Uncle Ben's my favorite in this movie. I did not like him really in the first Spider-Man movie. He's great, but I don't really like him in it. I like this one. This one, he has, like, more connectivity to Peter himself, where Tobey Maguire's, like, bashing him and yelling at him, saying, oh, you're not my father, and stuff like that. I don't, don't like that, don't like that scene, don't like that at all. So I like this one when he's connecting with Uncle Ben, like, with the trophies. That's a funny comedy scene. I like Aunt May and Uncle Ben together in this movie. They feel very connected. Um, Aunt May didn't really in the first trilogy, not really for me, okay, Tom Holland not at all, that's just like a chick, like, it's just a girl in that one, I don't know why they did that, um, but yeah, Aunt May's a really okay character in this, she doesn't have a standout moment, really for, um, I know he cares, she cares about Peter, but not really, no standout moment for her, I don't, I don't remember really anything, Besides him, yeah, she yelling at him, dumb part. I'm trying to think of anything else here of her character, not really. But, um, I like the swinging, I mentioned that before. The beginning of the movie, not the best, but those are the positives. And I do like the lizard at first. Like, I like Dr. Connors as a character in the first, the beginning of this movie. He's so great. And then we'll go to the mixed elements. So now we're going to the mixed elements of this movie. And that is Dr. Connors as a character in Moments of the Lizard at parts. So, his motive is to get his arm back, which I do like that plot line, hashtag Garrett of Inspiring 4. But hey, it's in this movie. And I do I like it enough. I like that they have this Richard Parker little secret thing. That's kind of cool that Peter kind of made the lizard for him. I don't like when this character shows up and it's like, oh, you got to do human trials now because Norma Osborn's die. It's like, man, better not. We don't need them because the main problem too makes no sense. 
why Norma Osborne's here or Harry's here and he's still alive, so that's dumb. Dumb. Bad plotting. Really bad plotting right there. Um, and it makes Iron Two makes it even worse. And so that's why he injects himself and becomes the lizard. Which I can get that because he has to do that to pretty much kill that guy. Which makes sense. I like that. I don't like when after he does that, he's just attacking all the time. It's just like, why? What, what is he doing that for? Um, and then he has like, I like the voice in his head in the sewer. I like that part, but it's just like, I don't, I don't know. The lizard's kind of where I like it, and I love the character. The character himself, I really love Dr. Connors. I don't like the lizard and what he does. Like, he just wants to make everybody a lizard. That's like the bad part of the movie. That's my mixed elements of lizard. Like, I don't know what he wants. Because he wants his arm. He gets it back. It goes away. It's like... I don't know. Like, I don't know how to feel about... That's my mixed element of the movie. And the, um... The parent sideline just goes... And never comes back in this movie. It comes back a little bit in the second one. Which I like the second one of that plotting, of that plotting in there. But... Not really. This movie does not do great with that either. And then my negatives is just the whole story, what the lizard's trying to do, I think it's retarded. I think it's the dumbest thing ever. Like, making everybody a lizard? What? Why? I don't... That's question marks. All, like, question marks all over the screen. Like, huh? What are we doing? And I... And that's kind of my take on this movie, is that it has... It's a great first act. Love it. Um, if you just get rid of the parent stuff, makes the movie great. And then the negatives is the parent stuff is with the negatives because they're not there. Um, Richard Parker could be such an interesting character, but they don't do anything. They just go, bye. Bye. Nothing. Like, we don't know anything. We don't know how old Peter is. Like, all we know he's a little boy. We don't know him at all. That's why when he saves that kid in the movie, um, he says, I'm Spider-Man. It, it gets him, uh, it gets him, like, it's a weird, I can't find the word for it, but it makes him feel like, like a person, because I don't think he felt like anything. In this movie, yeah, Peter Parker's very depressed. That's one thing I, I have not mentioned, as Peter Parker, he's very depressed, he's very quiet. My Peter, so. I don't really have a fair Peter Parker, I can't pick any. Tobey Maguire is great, but then there's moments I'm like, Ugh. like, that, I'm, I'm not your dad part, don't, want, don't watch that, that's just, no. Um, but overall, this movie, I, I've always loved, I've always thought it's underrated. I look at Letterboxd's people's list, and I'm like, I go to, I go to comic book movies, not the rankings. The rankings are all over the place, setting of mine, and changes all the time. But when I went to the comic book rankings of this other people I follow on Letterboxd, it's all over the place. It's like, 100 place? What? That's like half of the MCU for me. And DCU, there's like, there's so much, that movie, Green Spider-Man is in my top, like, top 30. I don't know exactly where it would be if I had all the MCU, X-Men, Blade, the Punishers, like, Ghost Rider, everything. Who knows that, how high it can get, because I love this movie. I think it's very underrated. It has, it has a lot of hate, uh, because it wanted to do something new, and it didn't, because it marketed as something new. I understand the frustrations of that. That makes sense. But for me, well, this movie, it was great. Um, I, I've, I've been loving it ever since. I know this rewatch, it just felt too fast. I'm like, this movie should slow down a bit. And it didn't. It just, it was going like this. It felt like a Fast and Furious movie. Non-stop action. But hey. But that is my review on this movie. Um, I'm not really great with reviews on YouTube. So I have to like write a script, which I don't want to do all that. I just do it my natural way. And this is what the review is going to be. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys want me to do. I can do any reviews of any movies. If I have to watch bad films, that's okay. I'll do it for content. It's fun for me. It doesn't bother me. Like, if I have to do Jaws 3, Jaws 4, Jaws 2, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what movie. Doesn't matter if it's Gods of Egypt, Strangers 2. Doesn't matter what it is. I'll do a review. I like changing up the content. I like not only doing reactions. If you look out on my channel, there's been only reactions. That's the only ones I could think of until I really start editing heavy in 10 videos. But yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out, guys.